Hello folks. I'm gonna do a, a run down here, tell you what we got so far. And I'm gonna to explain to you about this uh, Jerusalem uh, artichoke we got. Found out some information on it. And hope you enjoy it. Okay, it's 94 degrees out right now. There's been a lot of sun, sunshine galore. And what we got here still, is my little bitty lettuce here, salabo lettuce. They're still growing slowly. I might have to start moving some stuff inside. It's kind of hot out here for them. And then, of course, I got my um, Cracker Jack Marigolds. Because I'm thinking about planting some of them in the front right now. Seems like they're big, getting old enough. And then I got right here French Marigold Court Jester. And then this uh, Heracress. It's a toothache plant. And they're just coming up slowly here. And there's one there, two there. And there's one there. We'll see what that does. And this is my lonely lettuce I got out here. It was looked like it was wilting earlier. I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna put it in a pot, taking out some of this heat. And then we have our onions here. And see what we got over here. I had to adjust my camera setting. I had it set wrong. Okay, this is hostas here. This is some kind of sage. Not exactly for sure what kind of sage it is. This is a uh, pepperoncini. A few more days, I'm gonna start fertilizing. And this is uh, another kind of sage. I can't figure out what kind of sage it is. I forgot what kind. I used to know it. And jalapeno. These weeds I'm going to pull out. And onions turning to seeds. Waiting for them to go to seeds so I can start saving the seeds on them. And cucumbers. They're growing, climbing. Got a lot of buds on them, flowers, more onions. Now this cherry tomato here is growing wild from the uh, from last year seeds. That's awesome. These are star star bought cherry tomatoes here. Except for this back one back here, it's flowering, and that's the one I grew, saving the uh, cherry seeds in a pot in a cool dark place over winter that's awesome i show you how i do that too i'll keep telling you about it <laughs> and a zucchini we planted this year during the heat at least well, it's wilting but during overnight you start popping back up again i think forgot what's going on with that these are the uh Jura, Jura, Jerusalem artichoke found out they're in the sunflower family let me try out my phone here so I can read this to you pretty good in, in, interesting reading the uh, Jerusalem artichoke also called sunroot sunchoke wild sunflower because they actually start blooming like a sunflower. Tropinabur burr and earth apple is also known for. It is a species of sunflower native to Central North America. It is cultivated widely across the temperate zone for its tubular, which is often used as a root ve uh, vegetable. And I'll show you some uh, pictures here about it. What, you know what it looks like. And see it says here, it is a tuberous perennial plant growing to 1.5 to 3 meters or 4 feet 11 inches to 9 feet 10 inches tall and with 
opposite leaves on the lower part of the stem but alternated towards the top. They all seem like they're doing the same thing. Their leaves have a rough, hairy texture. Larger leaves on the lower stem are broad, ovoid, acute, and can be uh, up to 30 centimeters, 12 inches long. Leaves uh, higher on the stem are smaller and narrower. And yeah, they are kind of hairy. The stem's hairy anyway. I don't know if you can tell that from here. The two tubulars are often el elongated and uneven. Typically, 7.5 to 10 centimeters, that's 3 to 3 7 8 inch long, and 3 to 5 to centimeter, that's 1 to 2 inch thick, and vaguely resembling a ginger root in appearance with a crisp and crunchy texture when raw. They vary in color from pale brown to white, red, or purple. And I'll show you a picture of that. Food uses, is, uh, the tubulars can be eaten raw, cooked, or pickled. Before the arrival of Europeans, indigenous people cultivated tubulars as a food source. The tubulars persist for years after being planted. And see what else. I ain't gonna read it, the, the whole article and stuff. I will put the uh, link in the description box on it if you want to read more about it. What I thought was interesting, though, see, it also been reported as a folklore medicine for diabetes. Since insulin is not assimilated in the intestines, it doesn't cause a glycosamic spike as potatoes would. Temperature varies. variants have been shown to affect the amount of insulin the Jerusalem artichoke can produce. It makes less, in, uh, less insulin in a colder uh, region. Let's see here. And it goes on and on, but I saw something here very interesting. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Here it is. It says here. Where should I start? They have a similar consistency and in the raw form have a similar texture but a sweeter, nuttier flavor. When raw and sliced thinly, they are fit for a salad. Their insulin form of carbohydrates give the tubulars a tendency to become soft and mushy if boiled. But they retain their texture better when steamed. The insulin cannot be broken down by the human digestive system, but bacterial metabolize it in the colon. This can cause fluctuant and, in some cases, gastric pain. There's a quote here from 1621 by John Goodyear, not Goodyear, but Goodyear, it's good, Y E R. It says here, which way so, uh, soever they be dressed and eaten, they stir and cause a filthy, lonesome, stinky wind within the body, thereby causing the belly to be in pain and tormented, and are a meat more fit for swine than men. So I don't know about eating that. Anyway, I'm going to have this link in the uh, uh, description box if you want to read more about it. And let me go on here. I was rambling on here. Okay, and then I got tomato plants I grew the same way I done that one cherry plant. But it doesn't have any blooms yet. Jalapenos, store pot tomatoes, they uh they're got tomatoes on them. I don't know if you can see that. And then this, uh, <laughs> I laugh every time. Look at these, these yellow peppers here. It says uh, jalapeno. I don't think so. I tried one. It is hot though. I think it's hot banana pepper is what I think it is. 
And here is a uh, red skin sweet peppers. Uh, they got one. There's a pepper right down there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's hard for me to see it through the screen, the sun. And then we got green bell peppers. They got peppers on them. And this is um, just star tomatoes. They got blooms. No tomatoes yet. And his Rucker tomatoes, they got some tomatoes on it already. And my watermelon, no watermelon yet. But I got a couple of blooms on it. I saw a couple of blooms before. Where are they? Huh? Anyway, oh, I see one right there. I don't know if you can or not. And it's hard for me to see this through the screen. And then we got potatoes two types of potatoes i'll show them on the screen too yeah, which type they were that's what i got on here somewhere i just show them on the screen which type they are that's one type that's another type and then we got raspberries and i put these pie pans up keep the squirrels out of the tree hopefully it works anyway let's see where we at here this is the cherry tree Still at a young stage. This is the apricot tree. It has the apricots on it. Last year we were getting screw screws, getting all kinds of fruit off of these. So I put pie pans up. And this is a peach tree. I forgot what kind of, uh, what's the name of the peaches. Pipe in. This is a donut peach tree. Oh, no, wait a minute. I think I got that wrong. Uh, let's see. Okay. We got cherry tree, apricot. This is the apricot tree here. Head around. This is the apricot. No, I had that right. And after the apricot tree, I got this written down so I can remember. This is a Alberta peach tree. That's what it is, Alberta. And then we got Donut peach tree right here. I think I'm still getting them wrong. But anyway, this is a donut peach tree. The peach is shaped like a donut. And then after the donut peach tree. We got pear tree. This is a pear tree here. We had some pears on it last year. I don't see none this year. Got some leaf disease on these trees. This is the apple tree right here. Then we got a plum tree. We had plums off of, off of it last year, but right here. I don't see no plums this year. I think the frost we had killed them all. Anyway, our blackberry bushes here all along here. Trying to keep them down a little bit. And then we have currants, berries, bush, three of them, different colors. And then Dusty Miller, we're down to one plant. We got a whole lot of them, but kind of don't like them too much. Hostas, gladiolas, they were all blooming really well, but they're dying out now. Strawberries. I think I got a weed in that strawberry there. And we got something else planted here besides gladiolas that's not popping up yet. That's um, hollyhocks. We just planted hollyhocks this year and they're not up yet. We got two types of grapes, grapes here. Uh, see them. 
anyway we got green grapes and uh forgot the name of the other grapes now conquer grapes green grapes and conquer grapes and then we got the uh Pinoy, uh, I've got to say that again. I don't think I had that written down. Anyway, then we got more gladiolas. Some starting to bloom. Like I said, it's hard to do this in the sun. I should do it early in the morning before the sun's out. More hostas. Then we got lemongrass. So I'm not sure if that's really uh, lemongrass or not. No lemon smell. I think they might lie to me. And we got a centronella plant. That only works if you rub it on your skin, I heard. More gladiolas. I'm in shade now that I can see. Day with lilies. Hostas. We got plants everywhere. More gladiolas. I need to tie some of them up. And then this, this bush here, I looked that up. It come to be a Japanese bayberry. Shelly put it up years ago to keep the kids got stickers on it. Try to keep the kids from sticking through the window. And it didn't work. They still snuck through, you know, kids. And uh, got another weed to pull out. We got mother-in-law tongue. We got uh, a laurel tree. I think that was what it was when I scanned it. Umbrella tree. And that one there, it was white flowers on it, but they're dying out. I think that was a finger leaf rodgersa, something like that. Then we have ger geranium, aloe, uh, lemongrass. I think that's all here. And then over here, we got the blazing star I planted. Oh, one of my lights fell over. Blazing star I planted. We got another plant there, I forgot what that was. And these things here, you see these at ga mobile gas stations and stuff. Uh, they're, uh, Variegated lily turf. And that's all I got for you right now. It's kind of hot out here. It's not, and uh, my phone's getting hot running my camera. So that's all I got for you right now. And I hope I give you some information. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Later.